What's good, YouTube? Man, we back with another reaction video. Uh, we about to react to what's this video called? It's a Larry Bird. Uh, it is. Yeah. Uh, why did five teams pass on uh, drafting Larry Bird? And that's kind of because he was pick six. So that's kind of crazy that, you know what I'm saying, to see how, how good he turned out to see he was drafted six. And a lot of teams be like, like Jordan was drafted third, Kobe was picked 13th. So, some some teams be fumbling the pack, bro. It be like that sometimes. So uh, we about to check out this video. Uh, all Larry Bird heads tap in. We trying to get this channel to 10K subs. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, I got all the links and uh, stuff in the uh, description box. Um, follow all my social media accounts, man, because I'm, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get everybody to follow my social media, like my Instagram, because I'm about to get real big on a promotion because I really don't even be promoting my YouTube videos. Like, I never, I hardly ever do for real. But I, uh, I made an IG, so um, I kind of want everybody to make, if you don't got an IG, make one. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm trying to get this, um, at least to 10,000 10, followers on Instagram um, so I can get my blue check mark in. You know what I'm saying? Get, the, get this promotion thing going. But with that being said, man, we be trying to get the channel to 10K subs. Make everybody make sure y'all like the video too. Everybody that watched the video, just do me a favor, hit that like button. Everybody hit the like button. Um, but with that being said, we about to hop right into it, man. Let's get it. Imagine for a minute how different the league would have been if the Celtics had never drafted Larry Bird. Would there even have been a Magic and Bird Boston Lakers rivalry? Crazy. Man, oh man, what might have been. Larry Bird is a Celtics legend who was selected sixth overall by the Boston Celtics in 1978. In college, he led his Indiana State team to an unbeaten regular season. Surprisingly, Larry's name is as distinct as his own playing technique. But aside from having Bird as a surname, he's also earned the nicknames The Hick from French Lick, The Great White Hope, and the most popular one, Larry Legend. Larry Legend. During the 1979-80 season, Bird had an immediate impact in the NBA, starting at power forward and leading the Celtics to a 32-win improvement over the previous year. He was a 12-time NBA All-Star, who also won two NBA Finals MVP titles and was the only forward in league history to win the NBA Most Valuable Player Award three times in a row. Mm. Bird was also a member of the Dream Team, which won gold in 1992. Larry Bird was also one of the most confident players in the history of the NBA. He would step onto the court and tell his opponents which hand he was going to use that game and exactly how many points he would score in them. And this is why we love Larry Legend. He played 13 memorable seasons in the NBA, all for the Celtics. After his retirement from the NBA, he coached the Indiana Pacers for a few years, then officially retired at the age of 60 from all things basketball. Now we'll take a look at the players drafted above Bird. In fifth place, taken by the Warriors, we've got Purvis Short. That's crazy. He played 12 seasons for the Warriors, Rockets, and Nets. He averaged 17.3 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.5 assists in 842 regular season games. Solid. He is uniquely famous for his interesting yet clean jump shots. So far, we've come across many nicknames, but the main nickname is one that really sticks out. Like, literally, where do people even get these names from? But to be frank, it really does suit him in a way. You all have heard about Superman, Batman, or Aquaman, but have you heard of someone named the Rainbow Man? The Rainbow well, Man. That's Purvis. That name like way dope though, Rainbow Man. Short, Rainbow. Two. The to Interesting shoot yet super surprising. High. I'm pretty sure only NBA players can handle and live up to those types of nicknames. Got a nice form though. Because of his jump shots, which were a spectacular rainbow-like high arc. His Short form, was lovingly his form nice Rainbow as shit Man. though. The Golden State Warriors selected him with the fifth overall pick in the 1978 NBA draft bypassing Larry Bird, who, of course, was taken sixth. Short scored 795 points in his first season, averaging 10.6 points a game. His rainbow jump shot was definitely something special, as anyone dope. who watched him play would have noticed it. And, of course, many people now use the term rainbow jumper, although Purvis Short was the one who first coined it. But he brought it to a whole new level. I'd argue he had the highest arching shot we've ever seen in the yeah, NBA or elsewhere. The ball would occasionally travel through the net, but the net wouldn't even move. It was absolutely out of the ordinary, and he was dead on. Purvis's shot was a sight to behold. 
He was named SWAC Player of the Year in 1977 and 1978 and is now head of the National Basketball Players Association's Player Services Department, where he's in charge of the orientation program, which teaches prospective players about the dangers of being young, affluent, and famous. He's an intriguing guy, and his nickname is my favorite, but I believe he's being misjudged or I mean, underrated. That, that nickname, dope, the rainbow man. Michael Richardson is a former Michael player Richardson. and head coach in the NBA. He was selected fourth overall in 1978. He played for the New York Knicks, Golden State Warriors, and New Jersey Nets across eight seasons, averaging 14.8 points, seven assists, five and a half rebounds, and 2.6 steals. Richardson was inducted into the Montana Grizzly Basketball Hall of Fame in 1985. In 2013, Richardson's name appeared in the Big Sky Conference's list of the 50 greatest male athletes. Apart from being a tremendous player, he also ran into some major issues in his personal life. Michael was involved in a drug case, but has changed his life around drastically Damn. since making those mistakes in the past. That's crazy. Richardson has established a life only few could have imagined, focusing on giving back, but some of his accomplishments go unnoticed. The four-time NBA All-Star played head-to-head -head with legends like Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and Isaiah Thomas. He was a six-foot-five point guard with moves so sweet that he was nicknamed Sugar. Sugar. With the New York Knicks, he had 18 triple doubles, second only to Walt Frazier in franchise history. Mm. In the 1984 playoffs, he led the New Jersey Nets to their first NBA playoff series win, a surprise first round upset of reigning champion Philadelphia 76ers. The next season, he was selected NBA Comeback Player of the Year. Third on the list is Rick Roby a former professional Rick basketball Roby. player who won over the hearts of people with his quirky yet eccentric style school. of play. He played for quite a short time in the NBA as he retired at the age of 30. Roby played eight seasons as a member of the Indiana Pacers, then Boston Celtics, before being traded to the Phoenix Suns. He scored 3,723 points in his career and was a member of the 1981 Celtics championship team. Hmm. After retiring, he was shown on the news again, but this time not as a player, but a real estate broker. He even has his own real estate team at EXP Louisville. Getting drafted so second, we have Phil Ford, who was selected by the Kansas City Kings. He played seven seasons for the Kings and Bucks while yeah, averaging 11 up. points. So the last do he play for, um... Damn. Who the fuck did he play for? Who did I just say? Points and 6.4 assists in 482 regular season games, and he won the Rookie of the Year award. Ford was recognized for being a great ball handler and cutter with a spot-on pull-up jump shot. He was also a natural free throw shooter, especially in the final few minutes of tight games. He was at his best when leading Carolina's four corners offense, an offensive tactic that okay, some said, college teams Kentucky. employed to either delay or score only when attempting exceedingly safe shots. Ford, on the other hand, found teammates for quick, easy baskets or drew fouls on the opposing team when dribbling the ball in the center of the four corner alignment. Ford was also the first to accomplish the 360-degree spinning layup to perfection. Phil Ford currently works at the University of North Carolina's Educational Foundation, which raises funds for the athletic department. For almost 25 years, he's been an integral member of the Carolina basketball family. He sure lives up to his name. These highlights the top so overall pick in the 1978 NBA was draft Thompson? was none other than the great oh, Michael yeah. George Thompson, who is, of course, the father of Clay Thompson. Basketball runs in this family's DNA. He played in 12 seasons during his time in the NBA for the Trailblazers, Lakers, and Spurs, where he averaged 13.7 points, 7.4 rebounds, and 2.3 assists in 935 regular season games, and he won two NBA championships. In February of 1987, Thompson joined the Lakers as a backup to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and to defend Boston Celtics player Kevin McHale. The Pat Riley coach Lakers now had four players who were overall first round picks in the NBA draft. That's crazy. Thompson was a competent backup at center and power forward, despite seeing little playing time with the Lakers as he appeared in just 10 of the 106 games. Thompson was on those Lakers teams that won consecutive championships in 1987 and 1988, and he also made a trip to the 1989 NBA Finals. 
Now, I guess we've all heard the saying, like, father, like son, right? And that's definitely the case for the Thompson family, as Michael was drafted first overall in 1978, and his son Clay, of course, is one of the greatest shooting guards out there today, and he's won multiple championships, too. Nope. It's said that Michael and Clay might be the best father-son duo in the history of the NBA. It might be, though. With a little competition coming from Kobe and his dad. Apart from all that, Michael it has also been out. an actor it and he's out maybe Michael and Clay, movies. though. Yep. I'm not lying here, guys. He's pretty well known for his acting skills internationally. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave us a like as it lets that YouTube algorithm know we did a good job. Check out another Celtics legend and see what happened to nine players drafted above Paul Pierce up next. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a good video, good reaction, man. Everybody, make sure y'all hit that like button just for me one time. This is just for the experience. If y'all like the video, drop a like. But I'm I'm asking y'all, hit that like button, man. Just uh for the YouTube algorithm, so we can. Um, get more Larry Bird heads and uh, NBA fans to the channel. We try to get the 10K subs. With that being said, um, y'all stay safe, stay tuned. If there's if there's any reaction that y'all want me to do, drop it in the comments, man. Make sure y'all donate to the channel. Check out the description box, and we out. Hey.